Hey YouTube, uh, TillyJS. I want to do a quick video here. Um, you might want to earmuff the kids. It's going to get a little gross, so you just going to have to deal with this. But anyway, a little bit of TMI situation coming up. So I've had probably, probably some depression, but mostly just panic attacks, which could cause depression, I guess. But uh, I've, I've been having a shitload of panic attacks, and... If anyone's never suffered from it, it's it's not uh, it, it causes different things. Look it up if you want to. But in my case, uh, chest tightness, increase in blood pressure. My blood pressure was like 145 over 94, which I just turned 29, so that's definitely not normal. But increased heartbeat, my resting heart rate 62. It'd go up to about 97, 99. I could feel it in my eyes and and just feel it felt terrible all over. And it's just. Uh, it's just stupid stuff like I would be scared to go to sleep. I mean, it's, it's, I know that I'm safe, but I'm scared anyway. So it's, it's completely, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. But uh, it, it's just, it's basically just feels like a rush of adrenaline. And I've already discussed this once in one of my earlier videos. Uh, I got put on Cymbalta. I tried it for one day and, and then quit it because my eyes fully dilated and caused all kinds of shit that, I, I've already explained it in the other video. So anyway, so I went back to the doctor. I was having like five and six panic attacks a day, and it was just, it's getting too much. I was getting scared to go into work, which is even weirder because I, sometimes I wouldn't have any patients to take care of that day. So there's definitely no reason to be scared. So it was starting to affect everything I did. I didn't go out. The only thing I did was work out and work, and that was it. Uh, so anyway, so I went to see my doctor, and I got put on Prozac. And it was 10 milligrams which is cool because Walmart has like a $4 prescription, so uh, I didn't even have to worry about my insurance or anything like that. Um, but I got put on it, and what I would really love to know is it's worked beautifully. Uh, it worked the first day. Now, what's interesting is it's not supposed to. It's supposed to take like six to seven days uh, to, to, to get into your system, and then it has really long-term effects, meaning it lasts a long time in your system, which, you know, if I stop taking it now, it would probably stay in my system another six or seven days. It just takes a while to get built up and then so on and so forth. I'm not a pharmacist, so I might get these wrong. Uh, but anyway, the point of the story is it's supposed to take a while to start taking effect. Well, the side effects were immediate, and the effects were immediate. So I wonder if it's a placebo effect. I mean, it could be. It could not be. I don't know. The panic attacks are real. Uh, there's nothing I could do mentally to keep them from coming on. I could feel them. So I, I don't know. Uh, I talked to my parents about it, and one of them is on, I think, Lexapro or Zoloft. I don't remember which one. But uh, they said that they had the same effect. It was immediate effect, and so maybe that's just my body chemistry. I don't know. But anyway, but for side effects, now you might want to ear earmuff the kids. It's worked great for me. It worked from day one. I had one panic attack, but it only lasted like seconds instead of minutes. Uh, felt like warm water flushing all through the inside of my body, just basically the adrenaline rush. But it was only like three seconds, and then it was gone. Uh, so the side effects are: uh, I was constantly drowsy. Uh, no matter how much I slept, I was still still tired. Uh, I've slept a bunch in the past th probably three or four days. Uh, have no problem getting an erection, um, but the but you can't. And I looked up all the common side effects, and, and this is a cool common side effect if women are out there who like fucking. Um, you can't get off. It's not that you're not enjoying the sex, it's not making you numb or anything like that, but you, you can go forever and you, you just don't get off. Uh, it's, it's different. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, overall, just overall well-being, just drowsy, kind of cloudy, but hey, me and my wife went shopping the other day, and I haven't went shopping in a long, long time. Um, I felt better overall. Um, this is day, I think it's like day five that I've been taking the medicine, and uh, I can already tell a difference. I'm not a vendor for Prozac. I don't like drugs. I don't like taking aspirin. If I have a, head, if I have a headache, I don't take medicine for it. Um, but Prozac's worked for me, and I just figured I'd put this, this video up on YouTube for anybody out there. I tried Cymbalta. It sucked. I stopped it after the first day. Uh, I wanted to get put on Paxil, 
but the uh, nurse practitioner that I went to see, she, she recommended Prozac for the lack of side effects. Um, when I took Prozac before, when I was about 23, it gave me like diarrhea and the same drowsiness effect, uh, no sexual dysfunctions, uh, but I only took it for like 30 days, and then I just stopped taking it, against doctor's orders, but, um, but she recommended Prozac for like lack of side effects or less severe, and she's dead on. I mean, I've not really had any side effects. Uh, and my wife still gets to get hers. And I think that's it. Um, if anybody has any questions or comments, feel free to, to leave them, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, I've got a prescription for three months, so I'm going to take them for three months. And basically at a month and a half, I'm going to cut down to one pill every uh, two to three days and then eventually wean myself off after three months, and we'll see how that goes. But anyway, peace out, YouTube. Have a good night. Happy Sunday.